Apparently, Activision Blizzard is trying to force their employees to quit over a hidden layoff based off of a mandate they did earlier this year. This is going to be fun. More AAA gaming layoffs are coming. Let's get into it. All right, so if you guys aren't caught up on the situation, back in January, Activision Blizzard basically told everybody, hey, you got to get back to the office. No more working from home. It was dumb. Let's not do that anymore. And a lot of people seem to have problems with it. But don't trust me. Let's go over to the gamer and you guys can see what they have to say. So over here on the gamer, the key takeaways, and I love that they do key takeaways. Back in January, Activision Blizzard issued a return to office mandate for the quality assurance workers across the company. Last Friday, the QA department of Eden Prairie, Minnesota organized a walkout in protest of the mandates. That's ridiculous. It's like, hey, we you, you can keep your job. You just got to come back to work. And it's like, well, I object to keeping your job. Anyway, uh, the CWA and the QA workers have branded the mandate a layoff wolf in return to office sheep's clothing. <clears throat> Scrolling down here. All right, quality assurance workers from Activision Blizzard's QA department in need to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's fun. That's all. We already read that. You said that in the headline. Why do they do that? Now, again, on the back of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 going much better than expected. And I've actually heard from some friends who have played it. They actually said that the multiplayer is not bad. It's not as good as Modern Warfare 2019, but I've heard from some people it's still a decent time to play. And they're actually having some fun with zombies, which that's the only reason to play Black Ops is zombies. I'm just going to be really honest with you. I've never been a big fan of Call of Duty in general. Uh, I, it's, a, it's a fun locker room game to play some multiplayer with your guys, but outside of that, I'm not a big Call of Duty guy. The only reason to play Black Ops is zombies, and I will say the zombies is I, zombies is a fun experience. We actually have the original uh, here at the house. It's a blast. I get the boys here at the house like once a year now when they fly in. Oh, it's, it's a fun time. Fun times. Alcohol to be had too much by all of us. All right. So back in January, Activision uh, Blizzard announced it was ending its hybrid work model for members of the quality assurance team. Quality assurance team in Minnesota. So these are the guys that have to check everybody else's work and make sure that everybody else is doing their jobs properly. All right. <clears throat> it issued a return to office mandate, which was very controversial move considering how many staff members work from home due to health reasons. Okay. So we'll get into that here in a second, leading it to being criticized as a soft layoff. Maybe it should be. I all right, this afternoon, the AQAU CWA members held a rally uh, protesting Activision and Microsoft's refusal to allow work from home accommodations to employees who need it. Fox 9 was on site. All right, that's fine. Okay, although it's nearly been a year since the mandate was issued, QA workers have taken actions against Activision Blizzard with a recent rally. As reported by Eurogamer, uh, well, uh, yeah, as reported by Eurogamer, Minnesota walked out of the protest. CWA has also uploaded a statement outlining its thoughts on the mandate. So let's talk about this real quick. I like this. So first things first, one of the things that I absolutely have an issue with is you, if you were hired to do a job, you were probably hired under the pretenses that you're going to show up to the office and under those pretenses, you're going to show up, you're going to do your job, you're going to go home at the end of the day, right? Okay. Now, most people and most employers during the, uh, the during during the vid, as a lot of people are calling it now, said, hey, we don't know what this thing is going to do. Maybe work from home, especially in the digital spaces uh, while we get through this. But I doubt there was ever any official paperwork that said, hey, by the way, you're going to work from home. No, your original paperwork when you got hired on still exists unless you had them write you up a new offer letter. If those people who were smart enough to say, hey, I know you're saying we can work from home, but I want it in an offer letter. Now, for those people who were smart enough to do that, that would be great. Now, that being said, seeing as how a lot of these people are unionized, they're probably not allowed to do that and negotiate their own terms. Now, I have problems with unions because of that exact thing, because unions tend to get in the way of what individuals feel that they need to do and what's best for them. Uh, I really, really, really have a massive issues uh, with with modern day unions. They're just they take your money and they really don't do anything uh, but make work harder for you. 
Now, a lot of people are saying that, hey, come back to the office because you were hired to be in the office and also because they're probably seeing that people are screwing around at the house. Not all people, but most people. Let's face it. Working from home is something that you're not really focused. Maybe the wife and kids are running around. Maybe you got other stuff to do and you're like, yeah, I'm at home. Maybe I'll do this other stuff. And you're not focused to your on your day job 100%. Now, that's not everyone. I actually happen to know a few people that have taken jobs to work from home and when they're at home working at their jobs, they absolutely do that. Now, for me personally, I make sure if I have to work from home in my job, it is a very, very limited capacity because I know that I'll get distracted at the house with other stuff that I have to do. The honeydew list, as it's called. And for those of you out there who have that, I sympathize. So why is it that these workers are trying to say that Activision Blizzard is the demon here. And trust me, Activision Blizzard, when it comes to their games lately, eh, they're falling a little bit short of what the gaming community wants. But in this regard, I kind of have to stick up for them because in this specific regard, they're like, hey, get back to work. We need our quality guys in here checking everybody's work and making sure that they're actually doing what they need to do. But apparently, that's a bad thing. Now, a lot of people say, well, what, what if these people moved away from home? Well, that's ridiculous. Why or moved away to a different area because they were working from home. Well, that's ridiculous. Because again, unless you were smart enough to realize that your original offer letter or your original hiring stipulations were still in place, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, that is a legal document that you signed to show up to the office every single day. Now, that legal document may have uh, been bent a little bit, but uh, during the vid, but however, you still have to come out and do your job. Now, for those people out there who are absolutely refusing to do their jobs, and that's what this is, okay? If a company says, hey, get back to the office, and you say no, they say, well, getting back to the office is part of your job, and you're refusing to do it. That's what this is. A lot of people are saying, well, this is just a uh, a layoff di disguised in, uh, in, in Wolf's closing, this, that, and the other. No, it's not. If these workers outright refuse to come back and do their jobs, it's not a layoff. It's a straight up firing. And the reason that they can do this is because you are telling the company that you are refusing to stand up to what you signed up to. Why, why can I not words today? You are refusing to do the work that you signed up for in the way that the company and you agreed to upon your initial hiring. Now, a lot of people say, well, but some of these people have health issues. Some of these, are, okay, why was that not a factor in your initial hiring? That's what I wanna know. Because it seems like a lot of these people were hired, they could work from home, so on and so forth. And for some reason, again, if there's legal paperwork there upon your hiring of certain stipulations, you should still be able to work from home. I highly doubt it because most of these unions don't do that. Most of these unions go out and they put in the most generic stuff just so that way they can take money out of your paycheck to keep them uh, financially successful. In fact, I absolutely think most unions are just a racketeering scheme to make money off of your hard-earned work. Now, a lot of these people aren't exactly working hard anymore, don't wanna work hard anymore, and it's very, very evident in their actions. They don't want to go back to work. They don't want to go back to the office because they don't want the boss being down the hall going, why aren't you working? What are you not doing? Why are you not producing the quality assurance that you said you would produce for my company? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I don't think I really need you. And I think that that's what a lot of these people are afraid of is they've got the lackadaisical stuff going on in the industry where people can work from home, kind of this hybrid working mentality, a couple days at work, a couple days at home, so on and so forth. But now they're like, no, get back to the office. We need to go full swing here. And no, we're not We're not gonna be wasting our money. They've probably, most likely, and I would, I would say this for sure, I've actually heard this from a lot of people, work from home has actually reduced productivity for most people, not all, most. Right, The top 20% of people who are the guys out there, the guys and gals out there that are the earners, they're, they want to go out, they want to crush their job, they want to be the best they can be, those top 20% absolutely kill it all the time because that's just how they're hardwired. That's in their DNA. You're not going to get rid of that. But other people that just want to earn a paycheck for being in a certain industry, well, those people don't have it hardwired in their DNA. In fact, most of those people who just want to get a paycheck and not earn a paycheck uh, probably just want to sit at home. They're like, hey, I can, I got so much easier. I get to wear my sweatpants, which I don't know why you would wear sweatpants. You've got stuff to do. Be professional, please. They probably go, and I'm sorry, they probably go out in their sweatpants. I have a problem with people that go out in public with their sweatpants. 
if my wife watches this video, she's probably going to yell at me and be like, really? So it's really interesting to see how all of a sudden after the venture capital is drying up and how a lot of the vid mandates are no longer in place and people need to start getting productive again and start producing at a certain level and start justifying why they're giving you that much money, which in the gaming industry, the average, and this is the average, right? Math people, the average salary is still $100,000 a year. So if you're making on average 100K a year, which is more than what I make, then you should probably be producing $100,000 a year of quality assurance, which means that you are the people that are going out there and finding mistakes. Now, if you have a problem with what your employer is telling you to do based off of how you were hired on, then I would strongly suggest you find a new job. I've said it once and I will say it again. AAA gaming needs to have more firings. More people need to lose their jobs because the sad fact of the matter is, is we have seen a downgrade in the quality of writing. We have seen the downgrade in the quality of graphics. We have seen a downgrade in the quality of releases. Just at release, things are coming out buggier than hell. Now that's not to say that eventually over the course of a year or two years, it doesn't get better, but on release, it's bad. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think down below? Do you think these guys should suck it up, get back to the office and work? Or do you think that uh, Activision Blizzard should lose this one and they should allow people to work from home? I don't agree with the latter part of that. I think people should get back to the office. And if you don't want to get back to the office, <laughs> find a new job. But then again, I also worked a blue collar job and still work a blue collar job. I'm more of an office guy now but I've worked those for a long time. And I'm here to tell you right now, if your boss says do this thing and you say no, guess what? We get rid of you. You wanna to refuse to do the job? Goodbye, have a nice day. You're not producing, you're not helping the team out. And as we know, anything in the workforce is usually a team effort. And if you don't wanna play by the way that the rest of the team needs you to, and that does include the managers and the bosses, get bent. So thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I do appreciate all of you being here. And if you want to hear my thoughts on some other topics, there are some videos that have popped up on the window right now. Window, screen, oh my gosh, I'm a boomer. There are some videos that are popping up right now. Check those out and do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. I haven't been telling people to subscribe because I feel like you guys are smart enough to know that, but it was bothering me. I was like, do I need to tell people to subscribe? Well, anyway, there's videos up here. You guys are fantastic. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.